Rwanda says the international community should avoid falling in the trap of the DRC government that uh, is still insisting on the last that Congolese refugees who fled to Rwanda are Rwandans. Adam Squizera kicks us off tonight with this report. It has been more than 25 years since Rwanda started hosting Congolese refugees who fled their country due to the insecurity in the eastern region of this country since they arrived in Rwanda. No any single representative from the Government of Democratic Republic of Congo visited them. Kenya Shuri Muyovu and Gastari Etienne both live in Mahama refugee camp in Tirehe district alongside Burundian refugees who were visited by Burundi government representative last year encouraging them to repatriate. It is something that raised the emotions of the Congolese refugees who reminded the international community and the government of Kinshasa that they also want to repatriate. We've been classified as refugees in the last 26 years. We've never seen any representative, even if it's a province representative. It's not the same to our fellow Burundians. For them, their government cares. Why for us, the RC government never cares, as you know that no one can choose to be a refugee. When you flee and then later you see the government is visiting you, there you get some hope that, that you will return back home. It's like the way Congo always says that we are Rwandans. We think it's the reason that they don't visit us, as the fact that they began cooperating with FDRL in killing people. So we can't request anything from Congo, because it did nothing for those who are there in Congo. Instead, we request the international community to make advocacy for us, plus providing our security. However, the United Nations High Commission for Refugees says that Congolese refugees cannot repatriate at this time due to the insecurities, according to the Deputy Representative of UNHCR in Rwanda, Boubacar Bamba. For the refugees Congolais, the plupart come from the west of the Republic of Democratic Congo. As for the Congolese refugees, most of them come from the eastern part of the Congo, an insecure region. As you have seen, there is an insecurity in that region. Even there are some people who are fleeing again. In such situation, you will not recognize the repatriation of refugees when you are not sure that the areas that these people have to return to are not completely secure, which means that they will go home and back again in a few days. You know that we also received about 300 others who fled from these areas since the fighting started around the October and November. Comme vous le savez déjà, on a reçu à peu près 300 personnes de la zone depuis que la crise a recommencé en octobre-novembre. The insecurity that hinders these Congolese refugees from returning back home is mainly caused by more than 100 armed groups operating the Eastern DRC, including Rwandan genocide militias like FDRL. The president of the Republic of Rwanda. Paul Kagame noted in his end of year message that the failure to resolve this issue is due to the DRC government's unwillingness or being unable to govern its territory. As he also revealed out that what concerns even more is the political interest which is behind the issue. Should Rwanda be the one to bear the dysfunction of this immense country? The situation of the Congolese refugees whose very right to a nationality is denied by their own home country is a case in point. It is not just a question of hate speech, but of active persecution over decades. Rwanda is among the countries in East Africa which has hosted hundreds of thousands of Congolese refugees for decades. We have more than 70,000 registered in Rwanda alone, and new refugees continue to arrive even now. Yet the international community effectively pretends that these people do not exist, or that they don't know what causes them to be refugees in the first place. The policy seems to be for them to remain in Rwanda indefinitely, which only serves to whitewash the lie that they are actually Rwandans who deserved to be expelled.
This is an international problem, and it requires an international solution because the unresolved political issues which cause these armed groups to keep coming up and which underlie the hate speech we keep seeing are the same. Rwanda will not accept to bear the burden for the DRC's responsibilities. We have enough burdens of our own to bear, and we shall do so as effectively as we can. The conditions for Congolese refugees to return home in safety and dignity must be established. The eighth resolution of the last meeting of the heads of states of the region on the conflicts in the eastern DR Congo. In its paragraph aim, all the countries of the region were urged to speed up the repatriation of their refugees who are in their neighboring countries. However, until now, the DRC government has refused to do so, while Burundi is in the process of encouraging refugees to repatriate, as it was requested by the Rwanda summit in Angola. Adam Squizera, RTV News.